Section 4. Working with devices. In this section, we are going to take a look at how we enroll devices into AirWatch, how to manage devices in the AirWatch console, the deployment of configuration profiles to devices, and how to work with security profiles. Enrolling devices. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to install the right AirWatch agent for your device platform, the enrollment options you have during enrollment, and the post installation steps. So let's start to install an AirWatch agent to our device. As a demo, I choose my iPad. In order to download the correct agent for my device, I open the browser and go to awagent.com. The web page automatically detects my device platform, in this case iOS, and directs me to the correct app store, where I can download the agent. In this demo, I already downloaded the agent, so I simply click on Already Installed. The page likes to open my agent now to start the enrollment process, so I click Open. We can see now the AirWatch agent loading and starting a new enrollment process. Next, I'm asked how I want to authenticate my device. I can do that with my email address, where AirWatch uses the email domain to find the correct AirWatch server. I can type in the AirWatch server address manually, or I can use a QR code that contains information about the server URL and the group ID. In our example, I choose the server details. I fill in the server address and the group ID I want my device enrolled to and click Next. Now I am asked to type in the username and password in order to authenticate myself. The device will be registered to this user during enrollment. If enabled, like in our demo environment, I am asked which device ownership I would like my device roll into. I choose Corporate dedicated for my iPad. Now AirWatch is pushing down a workspace profile to my device. I click Install. I need to enter my device passcode and install the profile. Now I am informed that AirWatch may be able to collect data, install apps and get remote access to my device. I click Install and Trust afterwards. Now my device gets enrolled into AirWatch and initial configurations are being pushed down to my device. As the configuration is done, I am asked to open the agent again. A pop-up asks me if the agent is allowed to send me push notifications. I say yes. In this case, I am asked if the agent is allowed to track my GPS status. Yes, I allow it. I need to set up a passcode for the agent. And now I can see my agent's status page. Here I can see the device information and device status. When I click on the status, I can see a more detailed view of the status. I have the chance to collect logs from here if something went wrong, but everything is green in our environment, so my device looks like it is enrolled successfully into AirWatch.